Politechnika Poznańska. Warto tu studiować. I had the pleasure to lead the research group uh, within the ERC project, which was funded by the European Commission, in terms of so-called excellence science. Uh, if I would be asked by someone on the street uh, what we are doing here, I would say that we are trying to make the world better and to make the batteries and the portable devices which are used for storing the energy lighter and performing for a longer time. So it means that we are taking care of the users because they are batteries in the laptops, mobile phones and even in electric vehicles, they last for longer. So it means they can be used for many, many times. At the same time, we are making the world better but and by environment protection because less materials, it means less waste, it means better environment. Uh, I want to say also that I was enough lucky to get the team who is extremely involved in the science and who is strongly motivated to do the research work. Those are the young science enthusiasts and they devote a lot of time to reach the goals and to go with me in the road for the better world in terms of the energy storage systems to save, even if we can say this way, to save the world from the wastes, as they are more and more serious issues. Let's imagine you go for the shopping and you want to pay by card, and your telephone fails, you don't have any battery inside, and you cannot do it anymore. Therefore, we want to counter-react this, to stop this effect, uh, that we will be able to work for a long time with an energy storage device without any problems. I work with hybrid uh, energy storage systems that combine um, uh, electrochemical capacitors, high power, and uh, batteries, high energy. Um, together, those systems could create a perfect solution. However, uh, they require an inert atmosphere uh, during their assembling. So water and, uh, especially water and oxygen are my main enemies. And therefore, I need to operate in a special device called a glove box, which contains neither water nor oxygen. Uh, I think that uh, I could improve slightly energy, uh, especially power, but also uh, cyclability will be much better than batteries. I mainly focus on the electrode material, which is based on transition metal dichalcogonides. Uh, I study their structural properties and also their uh, chemical properties. Uh, so mainly I try to introduce them to the energy storage devices as a supercapacitor materials and mainly, maybe a little bit further in the battery materials. I am focused on the hmm, increase of the electrochemical capacitor's energy density because energy density is important from the practical point of view because of, of course everybody wants to have the highest possible energy and lowest possible volume. Operando techniques are the techniques uh, which we use to measure the device parameters as they are operating. I think that the operando techniques uh, are now becoming more and more important as they provide very valuable data for the analysis of the capacitor operation. We should focus not only on the initial size of the device, but we should take into consideration how the size changes during operation. That's why uh, during my investigations I focus on 
um, volumetric changes of uh, the porous electrode during electrochemical capacitor operation. Uh, for example, we would like to have as small devices as possible. And uh, within many years, uh, the scale changes. It means that the mobile phones are smaller and smaller and uh, we want to be mobile with those devices. That's why the size is important. In chemistry, it's very popular to use the um, chemistry and uh, physics sciences. But in my uh, case, I use also the mathematics, uh, which is the queen of the technical sciences. And it is possible by this mathematics to modeling, processing and uh, interpreting the uh, experimental results. Of course, with all those aspects, we have in mind that our work must be applied and it has demonstrated the typical applicable context. So it means that our results are not only the numbers or the sentences in the scientific papers. Uh, we tend to work on the fact that in some day, for the moment, I cannot predict the future and I cannot say that it will be tomorrow or in one year or in ten years. We tend that our work and our efforts will be seen on the street, will be seen on the plane, or will be seen on the, in, in your home. I recognize myself as a person with the mission for the young people to get them and to put them, put the knowledge in their head. But also I try to say to them that there's a significant difference between the wisdom and the knowledge. And in the lab, we gain the knowledge, but in our discussions and in our approach, we also get the wisdom. So being the teacher is not easy, and because of uh, that, I quite often ask my PhD students and my lab mates, uh, what would you tell to your grandmother or to your parents or your roommate, what you are doing at work and why your research is important? My mother uh, very often asks me what I'm doing in my work. Uh, however, every time she asks me, um, I'm, I don't really think she really understands it because she keeps asking me the same questions all the time. I usually tell my parents that I um, do big science because every parent wants to be proud from his child. Uh, but the truth is that scientific work is uh, very hard to be like, expressed in one sentence that I would like to stop the aging, that I would like to enhance the lifetime, to enhance, uh, to extend the lifetime. Uh, I could transfer this to the normal life. That I work to make her life and my life better, easier and more comfortable. It's quite complicated chemistry, maybe not so spectacular, but our chemistry plays the theater just at the level of atoms and the electrons. That's the reason that we cannot see so much. But those electrons and atoms, they easily transform to the devices you use every day. Politechnika Poznańska